Hello, Mark Roden with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I am doing a quick video of a nice mid-century property in Warren, Vermont at 107 Sugarbush Access Road. Uh, there's a property behind me over this way. You can hear the river, very beautiful spot. So let's go ahead and do a video. So here we are outside on the deck and this is a really lovely spot here. Probably year-round water over here for sure. There is the little cottage that they rent out that has a uh, has its own septic system. So we'll go and take a tour of that. So let's go on inside. So I'm going to just start down here. Some folks talking, doing a tour. So this was added, um, this garage. Big space. Not fully insulated, but it looked like they were heading down that road. Get a nice view out of your garage, too. And then there's a ramp over here. Didn't notice that before. Over here is a heated shop. Great place to work and tune up your skis. There's the heating system. The owner is a builder, so a lot of the work that's been done looks done well. I mean this house is 1962 so you expect to see a little more original. Really the only thing that jumps out is some of the windows are single pane but um, these are actually thermal windows now so these are double pane windows. It's like that up there as well. So a little girl outside too. So here's the living room and dining. It's a pretty good size space. Um, that is a really large sectional at a 45 degree angle, so it's eating up a lot of the space. Gas fireplace, built-ins. So this is, to me, like a, an original deck house, the way this is built. So no supporting walls in here at all. Shooting a quick movie. So, three bedrooms up here. I will do. So, here is a full bath. Nice tile work. Clean. Didn't use white grout, which is so smart. So I'll be in that video. So these are thermal windows here. 
And then these are newer windows as well. We do have a high ceiling up here, which is nice sun coming in. So, bedroom one. But, um, just, you know, did a nice job. Everything's painted nicely and, you know, sometimes you come into a 1962 house and it just screams 1962. This one doesn't. Except for the style. Alright, bedroom two. stuff up there. Storage up above. And there's that view. We'll go see that. And then bedroom three is smaller with bunk beds. Because you drilled a while out there. Just about squeeze a full bed in over there, almost. But works well for bunks. And this is three up, and then there's another bedroom down. So I don't know if we really got to show the the foyer here because there were folks in here. But coat closet here. Interesting how they did a little cut out there. Okay. So we've got um, laminate floor down here. So let me start with this three quarter bath. Nice size shower. This is an uh, office space here. And there's an egress out that door. We do have a Renai heater down here because it's uh, the zone is upstairs, so sometimes it could be cooler down here than it is upstairs, and uh, obviously you have the solar gain too. So let's start over here. So this is laundry and um, closet space for the bedroom down here. They have this, but then they have this whole room. Actually, refrigerator here too. They really carved out quite a bit of space in this lower level. Then this is the utilities here. Carrier, forced hot air furnace. And I on demand hot water. Pressure tank. 
your well, your drilled well, and uh, electric panel. 125, that's an interesting one. I think I've seen one that's 125. So that is this whole floor. So why don't we uh, go ahead and do the cabin next. All right, so here's my sidekick, Frankie, Francesca. And uh, we're going to go look at the guest cabin next. Hear that road noise right there. Not too bad, and um, quite frankly, the river drowns it out once you're at the house. And the leaves will be coming in too, so that's going to get better when spring officially kicks. So there's been two different instances of um, repair to the shoreline on the river. I'm going to say that maybe one of them was over here. As you can imagine, I mean it is spring now and it's 55 degrees today so it's already starting to move. Um, if you can imagine some years. It's pretty crazy over here. And then this was a repair they did another year. But this looks pretty good what they've done here. So this place is really cute. They rent it extensively. There's one door. And I'm going to use the slider here. Thank you. You're going to stay outside for a minute, okay? I'll be right back. So this will be a quick video. And there is a whole foundation under this too, it's a crawl space. Just really neat, nicely done. And look at that view out there. Like you're in the river. And then, up above, there is a, another deck up there. I guess when they rent, they're not allowed to let the tenants use that. So they, they essentially lock up the stairs like that. I could see it not being a sleeping area, but uh, you had proper railings I would think you could let somebody use it for at least sitting and relaxing and looking at the river so I mean just nicely done use of space and efficiency in such a small little place so, I'll jump out this way
All right, so that is the tour. All right, so there you go. 107 Sugarbush Access Road. Pretty cool spot. 1962 mid-century with a lot of usable space carved out of it. Amazing river access and uh, rental income with this cute little cabin. So hope you've uh, enjoyed the tour.